Hello, I'm Maurice Gimba. Today I'm going to show you how to model a basic structure of a kappa canopy. Welcome to this presentation once again, I'm Maurice Gimba. Let's get started here by modifying this. Just double click on this and uh, feed your, your preferred dimensions here. These are mine. You can uh, come up with yours or you can just use mine to come up with your own. I'll feed that three meters. I'll feed this height three meters. One, two, just go on like that. Then uh, feed here the same thing. Since our x is 0, 0 and we are adding no any other uh, dimensions here, we just leave it at A and uh, we, are, we will adjust these extension, extensions because at some point they will be more essential to us. Now we will feed for th 4 meters there, 4 meters here, 4 meters here. Same here, same there, Ex give extensions to 4 meters and apply, we close this, fit this to entire model, we'll create views, we'll create views, Grid one, grid A, grid four. Okay, okay. Now we'll switch back to isometric. We'll come to steel, steel column. We'll place the column there. We'll modify this. We'll come to circular hollow sections, this one here. We'll give it uh, 219. Apply that. Bring this to zero. And reduce this height to 1.5. Perfect. Try to switch to check your your elevations. Perfect. Switch back to three D. Come to applications and component. Uh, base plate. We'll pick this and just click there and place that one there. Close this one, or just double click to, to make some modifications. You change that plate to 20. Apply and accept. Close this. Redraw to remove that. Come back to applications and component. Click that. We want to place a couplet here with some. Gasset plates, click this and just click on top there, right click and redraw. Now we don't need this anymore, we'll come back to it later on when the need arise. You can rotate this, turn this and check round. Let's switch back to our views, right click to redraw. We draw that. Now our next move is to come back here to steel and right on that spot, click there, double click to modify that. 
come back to hollow sections here circular hollow sections we work with the with 60 not big enough apply and accept we'll do the same thing on the other side apply and accept now we'll select that select this and come back to deform come to deform and give this 600 cumbering apply and accept come to beam click that and just place it there double click on this come to deform bring this to zero apply and accept click this right click click move right there and bring it there we want to make some adjustments just click on this right click click move click there just place your cursor down here and feed 550 550 double click again come to position extend this to 100 that one will adjust itself just pull this away and extend this by 100 this one will extend itself like that then you come to deform give it 300 300 adjust this to 400 apply and accept this is just to make some reinforcement on this on the on the on this end and this end perfect we are done with that this properly properly welded here you can use just yes, type weld there and it pick stanchion or that's not better or just stanchion weld stanchion will work weld click that click the main and that it has been welded not properly done what we'll use will meter meter that this and that this and that now properly attached to both canopy close this we you switch back to your isometric view right click and redraw this is what we have at the moment now from here we'll just select everything and right click copy special linear check the axis is y we want to populate this along the y axis now on the y axis we need five of this we'll just click copy okay apply and accept or interrupt to, to disable that command now this is what we have now This is what we have. Now on top here, we'll place a translucent, a translucent, a translucent glass, or uh, or a fiberglass. More preferably translucent. Translucent. Now we'll come back to to that come to steel steel beam pick that just snap right at that spot this 
3 meters, 3 meters, you prefer 6 meters. Let's place this one here. Double click this to remove that curvature. Bring all this to 0. Apply and accept and come back to position and bring all this to 0. Apply and accept. Now our paling is straight but not in the right position. Double click. Double click on that. Come to position. Give it front position. And probably left or right. Five. Zero. Let's bring it back where it was. We'll give this to five. Perfect. Accept that. Now we'll switch back to our view here. Click that. Right click. Click copy. Click there. It doesn't matter the location as long as it appears it it, it is located along this curvature. Place that one there. And place this one here. Place that one there. Double click this position and give it 8 or 6 and do that switch back to isometric view double click on this come to position give it 10 12. Apply and accept. We switch back to isometric view again. To elevation view. We'll pick this right there. right there and bring it all the way to this spot perfect close this and switch back to isometric view there you are now what we want to do just to mirror all, all this to this end and prior to doing that we have to change our axis come to view work plane tool I have to change it right away prior to doing any mirroring place it there and interrupt to disable that work tool command let's come back to that now we have to highlight that press control and highlight this and highlight this right click click special copy and click mirror just zoom snap here and snap here click copy and click ok there you are we are here the other one is there now come to isometric view and just do some uh, manual copying just press control and highlight all this right click click copy zoom out and in and locate the exact snapping point there and link it up with the other end of the same same profile link it there and link it on this spot 
Let's zoom out. There's extension here. Now we'll just click that, press control and highlight this. And I'll bring this to reduce that to three meters. Apply and accept. There you are. With your with your kappa canopy, but this is not meshing properly. Just highlight everything here. Just highlight that. Right click, click, copy, remove. There. Click this, right click, click, copy, move. Delete that. You have to mesh properly. Right click, click, move. I zoom out. Perfect. Navigate, turn this round. There you are with your kappa can canopy. Now, when placing the translucent fiber glass, it'll it will take a curvature. It, it, it will start from this end and uh, take the profile up to somewhere here and take the profile from this end and curve it up to here and take from here to here translucent glass now we will be having cars parking from this end and from this end these are three 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 meters which normally the size or the width of the car now this will be this will be this car park will, will be able to occupy or to serve one, two, three, four, five, ten cars. This is it. I'm just turning it around like this. Perfect. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Maurice Dimba. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel for more videos to come. Don't forget to do so, please. And uh, keep watching the channel. Thank you. I'm Maurice Limba. Bye-bye.